made with 6063 lightweight aluminum for better thermal conductivity using heavy duty fans and thermal grease for more efficient heat dissipation with four rows of high lumen chip LEDs that use 4D projectors to amplify the 7200 lumens. These are even adjustable up to 45 degrees so you can get a good amount of range when mounting these lights. For only $25 for the pair, these are great lights that will last. A solid two year warranty backs up these lights and they feel solid, not plasticky either. Today, we're doing an installation and review of the Nylite 6.5 inch light bar. Instead of a traditional mounting location like the grill bumper or other popular spots, we are going to mount these as ditch lights to replace the ones currently on the Tacoma. The driver's side went out and there's no point on replacing just one, so I'll replace both ditch lights with these light bars. Before I install these on the Tacoma and replace the ditch lights, let's look at these lights. Nylite is a great brand, I'll tell you that up front. Affordable, but rugged, and mostly waterproof designs paired with a decent chip gives you long-lasting lights that perform. These are made with aluminum, so these lights are strong, but also lightweight. The front of the lights are safe, with the front cover being built with the most current rugged standards to hold up while getting a beating from the trail. The design of the lights are really desirable, with these light bars blending in having a rounded look. I'll be installing these lights onto an already installed mount, so I'll only need to attach the easy to install bracket that came with the lights. When installing the bracket, make sure to put your bolt to mount to your truck in before attaching it to the light. This bracket allows up to a 45 degree adjustment for perfect installation. Let's go install them. I just need to get black, black, red, red. Yeah, that's pretty bright. So I'd like to get as much of this as I can. Looks like I'm not getting much. Well, I can always run some black and red wire. Check it. Both looking good. Now we've got two Nylite six and a half inch LED bars for ditch lights. And I really do like this look versus say the round ditch lights or the square ditch lights. They're installed, they're fully working. And now I need to take the other ditch light that works and Put it in the back of the Pioneer. So, alrighty, it's finally dark, so I can check out these new lights and how they look. It's pretty bright. So, this is just the headlights, and then I'll turn my light bar on, the big one. That's not it, that was a false start. So that's a light bar. And that is the new six and a half inch LED light bar for ditch lights. So pretty much, you know, like same thing, a little, I think there's a little more with that as you can see it, you know, brightens it up. But you can also see, you know, a little extra to the light bar. Uh, you wouldn't think you'd get that much with that big light bar. And there's also a lot going on to the hood, and that's going to be adjusted 
the socket was just too large to get in there and adjust it so it has to be done with a manual wrench but I'll get that adjusted to get some of that light off of the hood let's do some driving and uh, see what it looks like but so far I'm pretty happy I mean that's just it and if you wanted to find out if there was an animal out there it really does give a nice soft good easy light and it brightens up everything let's go So a really good example of these ditch lights or the light bar as the ditch lights is, you know, you're able to be, you know, when you're driving up, you turn these things on and you can see that side over there. Where you normally wouldn't see that. And it really does just light the side. You can see with the light bar, this is just the regular light bar. It gives you a good, good sighting there, but not as much on the side over here. And you can really see how it just lights this whole area up, you know. You can see that line where the light bar lights up, and then you can see it gives you a little extra. So not only is it lighting in front of you, just almost as bright as the light bar, not as bright, but it's also lighting to the side, and I think that versatility is a whole lot better. If I was gonna do a ditch light or a light bar, I think I'd go with a ditch light first, so that way at least I have the side too. No, not as bright as the light bar, but pretty bright. And that's a 26 inch light bar. So 7,200 uh, 7, lumens, it's pretty bright. Yeah. Let's go ahead and I go, somebody's coming. I don't want to get arrested for flashing my lights at random bears in the tree. So driving out here, you got the creek to the left over there. And this is just headlights, so you don't get a whole lot. And again, light bar, great, I can see the road. But with the ditch lights, you get to see off to the side. Where on the light bar, you don't. Light bar, ditch lights. Just as bright, not quite, but still does the job. So, leave these on for a while. I'll go ahead and turn off my light bar. And this is just with the ditch lights. So, no light bar, but you get quite a bit of light over here to the side where you wouldn't with the light bar. So, you can see all that goes away and i've got a light bar on but i mean you can't see anything to the side so it's really nice because you can turn that on with your light bar like i have it now and it gives you that really nice side profile of lights to kind of see like what's out there you can see in front of you you got the light bar and i've got both of them but to be honest with you even if i were to turn my ditch lights off it, doesn't take much out so it does give you however a lot more profile to see on the side
You don't have to have KC or PIAA lights to get what the job needs to be done.